Well, this isn't how I expected to start off this video because this is the Trader Joe's haul and basically throughout this whole haul, I'm referencing everything that I got together for Easter and now Easter has passed. I just didn't have enough time to get this video out before Easter. Um, considering I shot this haul, I think it was Friday or even the day before Easter. So Easter was um, a great success, but I didn't want to work on that day. So here we are and you guys are going to hear a lot of references to my Easter planning. So just ignore that or maybe put it in the bank for next year. So now that I have that out of the way, let me share with you guys a couple things. So I'm gonna be talking to you guys about this in the video. This is a brand new item to Trader Joe's. It is a boxed sangria wine and it's definitely gonna be tried in the taste test. So I'm really excited to try this. And another sneak little peek, if I can grab it, is of the brand new small lot coffee that hit the shelves this last week. So make sure that you watch all the way until the end if you wanna know more about the new items that have rolled into Trader Joe's. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I try to make you guys really well versed in all the new items, including sharing with you guys all the nutrition facts in the back and sometimes even some of the ingredients that are found in these products. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this Easter haul. All right, I'm starting this video off with all the carbs, tons of carbs. So starting with these russet potatoes, I grabbed this big bag because I'm gonna be making mashed potatoes for Easter and I'm gonna be using these potatoes for other things as well, but they're just kind of a nice staple to have around. Also got the Middle Eastern flatbread, eat this all the time, got more sourdough. Got some more hamburger buns. We've been having hamburgers a lot lately. Um, I have a veggie burger. Actually, Tim does too. So we've been loving our burgers. And I made zucchini fries the other night. Oh my gosh, so good. Um, look, mango cart. I'm so happy that this is at Trader Joe's now. This is like one of my all-time most favorite beers ever. It's so flavorful. And it still has that beer taste. So it's not like super sweet mango flavored. But... You definitely taste the mango, and it's just a really awesome, well-made beer, and any chance I get, like if I see this at the store, it's in my cart no matter what. So I'm so happy to see this is at Trader Joe's, and it's also a great price for this. Can't forget the pasta. So right now at my Trader Joe's, we are limiting the amount of pasta you can get. It's just one per um, style. So I can only get one of these. I could get another of a different style. Um, but yeah, I grabbed one of these because we've been eating a lot of this. This is Benson's favorite and a lot of people's favorite. So it's nice to have in the pantry. Um, also grabbed some red onions, got some yellow onions as well. We've been cooking up a storm as I'm sure most of you guys are as well. Um, spin drift. So a lot of you guys have given me great tips on getting this at Target and I actually did pick some up at Target a few months ago like when I was shopping at Target regularly but I haven't been to Target in probably over a month and a half. So I'm just making do and getting it at Trader Joe's even though it is more pricey. Um, but thank you guys for the tips. I wish my Costco sold it but they don't. I check every time I go and it's they don't have it. So this is what I'm doing for now. And then I just grabbed two more smoothies. These are Benson's favorite, the peach and the wild berry. It's really convenient in the morning. First thing, he gets a smoothie and then he'll have his toast. Next up, I thought I'd share with you guys my favorite kombuchas at Trader Joe's. Um, finally, the guava is back. This is probably my top three all-star kombuchas. This guava is so good, and no, I didn't just get one. The rest are in the fridge. Um, I think I got like four of these, and I already drank one last night. So these are my absolute favorite. The strawberry lemonade is really good as well, especially if you're just starting out on kombucha and you're like a beginner. This has like a more sweet taste, so it's not as 
vinegary, I would say, and easier to drink. Um, and then this one is Tim's favorite right now, the Tropical Punch. He loves this one. Although, I will say the ones I got at Costco, uh, I don't know, like three, four weeks ago, they were a peach, uh, it was a tropical flavor, peach, pineapple, and Tim loved those. They taste like juice though. They didn't, they didn't taste as much like kombucha. So yeah, these are my top three. I absolutely love them. Um, some more veggies, got some cucumbers and tomatoes and lettuce. These are actually just like my, my salad staples here. And then the red onion, I love this combo. And I've been doing a lot of garbanzo beans in my salads and um, hearts of palm, like a lot of good things. I've been loving salads again, which is nice. I had to grab this hair mask. I ran out of it and I have to say I'm a little bit more particular about my, like my hair and skincare. I usually splurge and spend a lot more money on that stuff than I do on other things because I really want to take good care of my hair and skin. But this right here is literally lovely i love it so much um i ran out and i bought another tube because it's just that good it really hydrates my hair it makes it feel really soft and i think you only have to leave it on for like three minutes maybe less three to five minutes so it's like a really easy i just shave my legs while i have it on my hair and then rinse it out and it's good to go now I have been sharing this with you guys a lot because I can't tell you enough how much I've just been in love with this combo. So if you guys missed my what I eat in a day, my I think it was my last second to last video I just posted, I actually show a recipe where I use this. I make it for lunch and I do like chickpeas in there and broccoli. Someone recommended using potatoes and cauliflower. I am definitely, definitely going to try that in my next, like the next time I make this, I'm definitely doing the potatoes and cauliflower because I think that sounds amazing. So if you were the one that recommended that, thank you so much. Very much appreciate all these little tips that I get. So I haven't purchased hummus in a very long time and I miss it. So I grabbed, grabbed the three layer hummus. This is great if you wanna just try out a bunch of different flavors. It has the traditional cilantro jalapeno and spicy and it really isn't that spicy at all. So it's a great, Great hummus to have different flavors all in one. Grab some more smart dogs. Benson's been loving hot dogs with his mac and cheese and then he's actually just been eating hot dogs in general and he loves these. I know some people absolutely hate these. They can't stand them, they're like rubber. Some people don't mind them at all. I don't mind them at all. I think they're fine, but you know, been vegetarian for 16 years. So at this point, most faux meats I can tolerate just fine and they taste good to me. Um, speaking of, you know, some meat that's not real, beefless ground beef. I grabbed this. I am going to be making a really yummy lasagna, like casserole for Easter, and it calls for a meat sauce that it like sits in, in the container. So I'm gonna use this for my meat and make a really yummy sauce for that. Now moving on to some Easter fun goodies. So I am not, like I said, not going to Target and I had to make do with what I could at the grocery store. I went to Costco and I went to Trader Joe's for Benson's groceries. Um, I grabbed these, these are gonna go in his basket. He loves these fruit snacks. They're like one of his all time most favorite fruit snacks. So these are going in. I've mentioned in the past, these mango fruit bars are something that he is just die hard fan of. So I grabbed a box of those to put in his basket as well. I'm gonna be using these peanut butter cups to put in some plastic eggs that we're gonna hide around the house because he loves these. Um, these soft and juicy mandarins I am probably gonna keep in the cabinet because the whole family likes these but these would be another good one to put in a basket and then I also grabbed these for him too these are the tiny gummy bears I thought those would be cute either in an egg or in his basket so that's kind of like a little bit of what we're doing for Easter. And then I got some white eggs. I typically don't ever buy these white eggs, but because it's Easter and we're gonna be coloring some hard boiled eggs, I grabbed these and um, they come in handy when you're gonna do that. Once we hide all these eggs in the morning for Benson, um, I actually take these hard boiled eggs and I turn them into deviled eggs and then I serve them as like an appetizer for Easter day. Um, it works out really well and you don't waste eggs. And yes, there's food coloring on the eggs, but that's fine. I don't think it hurts you, especially if you do the natural dye. 
Um, moving on to some frozen items. So we've been eating pizza probably like once a week. Um, I grabbed the three cheese this time and I grabbed also the arugula. This is like one of our favorites. It's so delicious and very filling. I also grabbed some tater tots. I'm going to be doing my egg bake for Easter morning and I love my egg bake because you can always pre-make it and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it on Saturday and then pop it in the fridge and then Sunday morning I'm going to pop it into the oven and bake it and then our breakfast is ready and I don't even have to do anything. I don't have to lift a finger. makes it so easy because then you just take your casserole out, cut it up, and serve it, and you're done. So if you guys wanna see my egg bake recipe, I will link it in the description below, so you can click on it and watch it if you wanna do something like that. It's delicious, trust me, so good, so easy. And then one of the last frozen things I grabbed were the fire roasted bell peppers and onions. I love this mix, it's so convenient to have, especially when it's hard to run to the store every you know, four days to get some fresh vegetables and fruits. So I have been relying on some frozen items that I just know are nice to have on hand when I'm ready to use them. So that's why I grabbed those too. Now we're gonna move on to some new items and we are going to be doing a taste test in a separate video. So if you guys wanna see how these things taste, I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna taste test these noodles because I'd have to cook a whole pot or whatever of pasta, but I could do another what I eat in a day and cook one of these and let you guys know. These are the brand new pastas that we just got in. They're called Z pastas. There's the rigatoni and then there's this one. I'm not even gonna attempt, but it kind of looks like it says conch, so <laughs> conchigili, okay? Go ahead and roast me in the comments. Um, but yeah, these are fun, new, fun to try, can't wait. Okay, now for something that really excites me. <laughs> it's the new r block red sangria. There is three liters in here. It's grape wine with natural flavors. Yay for natural flavors, just kidding. Um, but I have been hearing a lot of great things about boxed wine lately. Who would have thought? Because when I grew up in the 90s, everybody was like, box wine was not <laughs> the thing. It was all about Zimas, if you guys remember those. Um, but yeah, here's what comes in the box. It says that there, it stays fresh for 45 days after opening. That was something that caught my eye when I was reading about this. Um, that's a long time to stay fresh because it's in a bag here. Uh, it says best served chilled. And on this side, it has the little easy open so you just push it. I think there's a spout that comes um, in here. It says actually the opening instructions are down below. Let's take a look here. Okay, so you guys can see easy directions. Yes, there's a little spout that pulls out and then you just keep it in your fridge and then you can just get a glass whenever you feel like you wanna have some sangria. So I might actually crack this open on Easter. That sounds like a yummy little treat. We'll see how it goes. Um, Actually, what am I thinking? This will be for the taste test and I can drink some more for Easter. So yeah, I'll definitely try this in the taste test. Um, now there's two brand new cat foods. That's kind of cool. There's the turkey recipe and the salmon. These are grain free, which I think the other Trader Joe's cat foods are not grain free. So these are brand new. They're a lot smaller and they are more pricey. So it's probably because they're grain free. And I'm sure my cat is just gonna die over these. She loves wet food. She gets wet food at night, dry food in the morning. So I'll show you guys um, if she likes it. She'll do the taste test for you. But kind of fun, exciting, new pet food. Look what came back. So these are seasonal. We get these once a year at Trader Joe's. They're only 99 cents. Um, hello, six mini cakes for 99 cents? I mean, I'm kind of crazy for only buying one, but I just know if I stocked up on these, it would not be good. So um, yeah, these are really delicious though. They're literally like little mini cakes. So easy to eat and that's why you have to share. And when you're in quarantine, you have no one to share them with. So maybe refrigerate or freeze them? I don't know. They are delicious though. Okay, so we have the spotlight cheese of the month. This month it is the smoked Cajun beehive cheese. It says, always the most popular cheddar on the board. So it is a cheddar. Um, there is vegetarian rennet in this. Great to know. It is the smoke source, it says, is mesquite wood. So it's probably going to taste pretty smoky, my guess. 
Um, it does show here that there's organic non-GMO canola oil, uh, cayenne, so it's probably gonna be a little bit spicy, and definitely trying this in the taste test as well. We'll let you guys know how it tastes. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's gonna be really good cheese. I'm excited. This really interests me. This is the 100% ginger drink mix. There's seven single serve packets in here. It actually had like an easy open like little box that it comes in. And let's see what is in this. So 60 calories per serving. The ingredients are literally just ginger powder, um, zero fat, 14 grams of carbs, zero protein, so really nothing um, much in here. 60 calories, I didn't realize ginger had so many calories in it. I mean, that's not like a lot, but you know what I mean. Like, I never expected it to have that many. Um, so this says, brewing instructions, you dissolve one packet into 12 ounces of hot water, add more or less water if desired, stir until dissolved, served right away. You can serve it cold as well. You just pour a packet in a cold bottle of water, replace cap, cap and shake, like a protein shake. So on the back here, it says that this drink mix is from Northern Thailand, and that is an area that's known to have a more sweet tasting ginger. Um, it says that they have a spray dry technology to transform it into powder. And it says instead of it being overwhelmingly earthy, you get a delicate, easy dissolving powder with concentrated ginger flavor. This is like right down my alley. I can't wait to try this. This is definitely going to be in my tummy very soon. And during the taste test, I'm gonna try it for the first time so you guys can see how it goes. Trader Joe's is now carrying bay leaves. I think at a certain point we were carrying bay leaves before, but um, I just noticed these back on the shelf. So kind of exciting if you guys are doing a lot of um, like stews or a lot of things that require bay leaves in them. This is probably nice to have. So pick them up while they're still around. Brand new coffee that just came in, the Brazil Mascardini Small Lot Coffee. Again, I've been showing you guys a lot of the small lot coffees that Trader Joe's sells. These are all limited. So if you do like a certain batch that you try, I highly recommend picking up a few and just having them on standby because once they're gone, they're gone and they can't get any more to come back. So this one interests me though. It's um, medium roast, which I like. It says it has notes of white, peach, and citrus. Um, yes please that sounds amazing so if you guys want more information you can check out the back of this bag it definitely has a lot of info regarding what area this coffee is farmed and exactly the process they do to get the coffee bean to where it is and then you know gives it a little bit more of what it tastes like like it said in the front citrus and white peach and it's well-rounded body sweet finish makes for an unforgettable cup it's really cool i love this packaging too it's really cute um can't wait to try and then the very last thing is the steamed pork and ginger soup dumplings these are brand new they are filled with a rich and savory broth um, so Tim's gonna be trying these. They come in frozen, by the way. So here are the nutrition facts on the back. Calories, 270 for the entire thing. It says serving size, one container, which is nice. Um, that's not bad at all. Total fat, 10 grams, 560 milligrams of sodium, 30 grams of carbs, one gram fiber, three grams of sugar, and 14 grams of protein. I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be excited about this. Um, here are the ingredients if you guys wanna look quickly. Um, it does contain soy and wheat. So here is the haul all together. If you're interested in seeing the taste test, stay tuned for the second video and you can see how all the new stuff tasted. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Trader Joe's haul. I also just put out a Costco haul before this and People were loving that video, so if you haven't seen that one, check it out. Also going to be posting the taste test of all the new products in this next video that I'm going to post about an hour, maybe two hours after this video, so keep your eyes and ears open for that one. Um, and if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my taste test video. Bye!